is up blue channel tv we are back in the cut so right now the situation is i am burning up you guys our ac went out and the reason why is because why is because it was raining a couple days ago and then well like not last night I already told them okay. my version is better though no. um so the power went out um and yeah. that made the AC blow out or something I don't know anything about that and we can't leave because we gotta wait for the AC man to come and mind you I thought it was completely <laughs> under warranty and they told me only the parts are under warranty yeah. I still have to pay the technician to come out and fix it. All right, man, so we got a time frame when the technician gonna come out and turn this AC on. So we had a, a little window of opportunity to run to the grocery store. So we finna go down to Sprouts and get us something good to eat. So well, King sits in the back being a hater like always. Again, I say, he talking about that's not cool, Dad. I'm saying he's Man, I set, the cool, I set the bar for cool, boy. So he's trying to hate on Lucky because he got the new tripod for his phone. We can put the camera on there, but you know, for what? We getting too angles and plus I like having it in my hand anyways so here comes Kingston being a little hater I'm talking not about a it's hate. not cool uh, be careful with the hate cuz they'll be, get on your plate don't be sleeping on the iPhone you know what I'm saying bloggers out there and youtubers don't be sleeping on your iPhone so we're heading to Sprouts you guys it is burning up in Houston like for real you guys I cannot deal I, I just I really can't and I'm about to show y'all how hot it is let's see what's the uh, well I guess it's not that hot it's 90 degrees that's hot okay that's hot 90 degrees is hot it's hot it's hot it's hot it's hot like as soon as you walk outside mind you our air's not working like we've told y'all so it's like you know we don't get no relief so when we got in the car and this ac started blowing it kind of felt like ah. <laughs> you don't even know how to work this thing boy you got to turn it on first of all it's dead I'm feeling this new tripod I got. We had sprouts, farmer's market. It's organic like the planet. Hello. Alkaline water, man. Alkaline water. Himalaya. This is that him player for the Himalaya water right here, man. Himalaya minerals. No, you gotta have that pH balance in your water. If you ain't got this alkaline water, you're missing out. Hey, but this is the truth right here. Aquapana. I got to give me some aquapana too. Come all the way from Italy. I'm too clean with the turn, bro. Chalala mix? Hold up. Let me try that out. It's Hey, it's 4th of July coming up, baby. Was good. Let me grab y'all real quick. I'll take on a ride. All right. Um, we're at the um. I don't want nothing to do with no soup. It's hot. Nothing to do with no soup. I got some good content. Let me just reverse. Oh, I can't. Skr, skr. Skr, 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 skr. Hey, hey. 
We made it out of Sprouts, like always, running up a check. Okay, what it do, man? I just got back from uh, mailing out some merch to y'all. Shout out to everybody who's been ordering and supporting LucianoTV.com. We appreciate y'all, man. I checked the little fan mail that we had, and uh, shout out to Daniel Gutierrez from Cathedral City, California. Let's see what he got to say. Dear Theo, spins us for the headaches. Hopefully you can forgive me one day. I know at times my intentions get blurred. I hope you know that I have nothing but the utmost respect for how you conduct yourself. The inspiration you and your family have served, not only to me, but to countless others is priceless. When you are well intentioned, regardless of what your motives are, sky's the limit. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains the favor of the Lord. My prayers will always be with you and your family, as well as with others. When you speak to Bing, can you let him know my thoughts and prayers are with him as well? DG. Already, man. Appreciate you, DG. That was so sweet. We got another one. The link is in the description. The address is in the description. The address is always in the description. Feel free to mail us whatever you want to mail us. Dear Lucky and Asia, I want to say thank y'all for all positive advice. I have been a fan of Lucky since I first heard High Power and have learned every one of his verses. I don't know what it is about your music, but it speaks to me and motivates me. I wake up and listen to your music on my way to school and even throughout college, which I recently graduated from. I hope to one day meet you both in person because when I was going through a rough path due to relationship issues, y'all's words are the only thing that could help me to get back to myself. And I love, I have to thank y'all in person. You two are really what I want to have in my future. So thank you again. God bless you, both you and y'all's family. Your biggest fan, Jose P. Shout out, oh. shout out to Jose P. That was so sweet. We got one more. This from Eddie Hernandez. Oh, he work at the bank? Might need to come see you, man. I need a loan. Shout out to Wells Fargo. Go on, give me a loan, man. Cut that check. Lucky, I met you back in 2002, I believe, before you released your first album with Dope House. I worked at Dope House for five months. I stood out like a sore thumb. I was very preppy and I looked like I didn't belong there. I wasn't the biggest rap fan, but I admire you and Coast. One day you came into Dope House and I tried talking to you, but you were very rude to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think much of it because I figured fans were probably always trying to talk to you and you probably wanted some privacy. That's messed up. Especially when you were at Dope House. I bought all of your albums from 2002 to 2010. There was a lot of albums, but I love your music. Fast forward to my life today. I'm a single father of two beautiful girls. I've been raising my daughters for the last 12 years by myself. During SPM B-Day Bash in October, I figured I would go and help do the setup for the event. I called Sylvia. She gave me a cool job. She gave me the job of taking the artist to VIP. I met you for a second time in my life. You went off on me and made me feel worthless while I was walking you to VIP. From that day on, I hated you. I couldn't believe you would talk to me in the manner that you did. <laughs> Wait, no, I remember this. I will tell you why. Because you had me waiting outside a dope house like if I'm some estranged artist, like I ain't the dope house prince, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be like, oh, that's lucky. He, Him and his people need to come to the back. I don't know if it was you, but a couple people at the front gate was talking about, oh, we got to wait on some wristbands or we don't have enough wristbands for you and your people. And I'm like, nigga, I'm lucky Lou. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't just one of these other randoms, my nigga. Thank you for my food. Anyway, I stumbled across your blogging videos. I watched one, then two, then three, and before I knew it, I was hooked. You are such a wonderful father and husband. I like it when you speak positivity to your fans. You have a big platform online of 62K and rising. I pray that both of you will be at 100K before the year is out. Again, you are a great father and husband. I admire you a lot. I guess that day at SPM Birthday Bash in October, I caught you at the wrong place at the wrong time. 
I wasn't in the wrong place at the wrong time. You was acting like a bouncer at a club talking about I didn't have you didn't have enough wristbands for me and my people to get into dope house. I was there. And let me tell y'all, y'all was pretty rude, first of all, because there was a lot going on in the front. And, and we I can understand you in. was doing your job talking about you got to look for everybody with wristbands and stuff. But, you know, what I'm saying there's certain people that, you know, you got to let shit slide. And believe it or not, I'm one of them people when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, this dope hot shit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I pray health and blessings over your family. Your children have a wonderful father and mother. Really, it's a beautiful household. Houston's going outside, but I do have some questions. How do you eat so much and not have a huge belly? Can somebody bring me a fork? How do you eat so much and not gain weight? Well, I tell you, I work out in the morning, man. You know what I'm saying? I showed y'all how I run around. I, I run a mile. Yeah, right. <laughs> I walk. I run. I do my burpees in the morning. So that's what you want to know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Houston. Don't bother me when I'm in vlog mode, boy. Come on, brother. I'm going to give you some knowledge. Anyway, say, how do you eat so much and not have a huge belly? Well, you probably ain't seen my belly. I do got a huge belly. In some of your videos, you talk about how you and Kelly met. But can you do a special video detailing the whole story? I told you, I was at a club. She walked in the club, my homeboy Ace that cuts my hair was like, yo, I'm gonna introduce you to my homegirl Asia. And then she was like, oh my God, it's you, Lucky. I've been no, dying to meet no, you. No. You come interrupt my video. That's not, that's, that's not that's how not it how went how. down. Yo, you are Asia, come mm -hmm. here, girl. Let me change your life. Watch out. <laughs> anyway, can you talk about your age gap? We got a 14 year age gap. That's a great subject. Hold on, let me sit down and eat my little food. I'm 38, she's 24. So we got a 14 year age gap. And at times, that gets hard. It gets frustrating, cause at times she be wanna turn up in the car to her little ratchet music. I feel like sometimes, because he is older, he feels like he's my dad. I am your dad. But he's not. So it gets hard in, the, in them times, and yeah, I do have a, I do have a, a more bubbly. She's happy all the time. She does have a happy-go-lucky personality. You know what I'm saying? And I do like that about her. But you know what I'm saying? At times, I just be like, you know what I'm saying? He's a grumpy old man. I'm a grumpy old man. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So we do bump heads sometimes. So he says, I'm 37 years old, and I'm in love with a woman that is 25. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're going to learn. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy. You guys remind me of, of me and her. She is a prayer warrior yeah. and loves the Lord like Kelly does. But the age difference has never weighed heavily on my mind. But I've received criticism lately from people saying I'm too old for her. Oh, well, you can't worry about what people say. Don't ever let what somebody say stop you from being with somebody you love. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't never worry about what people think or what people say. I don't be worried about nobody's thoughts. It's mostly from people who have no business giving other people advice. But at times I wonder if it's true. Enclosed is my business card. If you both ever need anything, let me know. I will have you and your family in my prayers and may the Lord blessings overtake you. God can do exceedingly and above all we ask and thank. God bless you all. Edgar Hernandez, I go by Eddie. Amen. Shout out to Eddie. I apologize for being rude to you. Uh, the first time at Dope House, I was a, back then in 2002, you said, oh yeah, I was arrogant and rude to everybody back then. I thought I was the shit. I was at Dope House, I was probably at the studio, and you probably tried to talk to me like a fan, and I probably reacted like, nigga, I'm at my place of business right now, I'm not in fan mode. So, that's, I probably was rude. But the night at that event you are talking about in October of last year, I wouldn't have been rude if you just said, oh, lucky, pre nice to meet you, or I haven't seen you in a while, let me open up the door and let y'all in and go on about your business, you know what I'm saying? But y'all didn't do that, y'all was like, Oh, wait right here. And then you had me standing outside with all my people. Edgar Hernandez, if we meet again, you know what I'm saying? 
I hope we meet on better terms and I won't be rude to you. I couldn't take it, man. I had to go take me a cold shower. I don't never take cold showers, but it's hot up in here, man. I got the door open with the fan blowing because it feels better outside than it does inside. I just went and checked the temperature on the thermostat. at 89 degrees in, in here, inside the house. It's 89 degrees. And it's already 3 o'clock. We've been going through this all day waiting on this AC man to get here. When the AC man come through and fix this AC, I'm going to turn it on 59 degrees. The, I, I usually just put on 69 degrees when we go to sleep, and that'd be cold, 69 degrees. But, man, I'm going to put it on 59 degrees. Uh, it's going to get icy up in here, man. I think the AC man has arrived. Oh, hey, how you doing? Good. You the AC company, so what's going on with Tracy? He said the AC, he said it's working. Do you feel it? It's usually, this is usually the coldest room and I'm sweating. Well, hopefully it'll turn on. He said it was going to turn on. Oh, look who pulled up. Remember I was telling y'all earlier about uh, Ace, the one who uh, introduced me and Kelly? That's Ace. What up, what up? What's up, man? I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if the AC's working. The dude just left. What's up, little man? It's hot. Does it smell like fish in here? A little bit. Not really. I made some shrimp earlier. Oh, nah, you really can't tell. Come on, man. Does it feel hot? AC ain't blowing. AC ain't blowing. It says 82. Yeah, he just left. Charged me $425. And it was under warranty. What was not under warranty? The, the, what, what, the only thing that's under warranty, depending on when you close on the house, you have a five year warranty for the major components which is your condenser, your evaporator coil, your fan motor, your, your uh, blower motor, uh, uh, th 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 the, the big components, uh, maybe a motorized damper, all that is under warranty. The, uh, the, small, the small transformers, the capacitors, and the pressure switches and all that, those are not uh, under warranty. The labor and the service fees for us to go and do the diagnostics. Okay. All right, all right, but all right, boy, thank you. Y'all boys better read thorough. Them little small printers, y'all. Yes, I got Read it. this shit. Tell y'all, man. Right. Leave this motherfucking bill, boy. Shh. All right, thanks. Tell me, y'all. That's how they get you. They got me. $425 to come and just rip. I'm telling you, he was here for like 10 minutes. I ain't complaining because now I got some cold AC. Because you sit over here trying to play with his toys. Which toys? Yeah, and then his new toy he got today. Space That's from Toy Story. On the motorcycle. Did you buy him the backpack like you're after? Nope. <laughs> Look how he's being, dog. He, he wants to play. Robert! Play with the baby! Albert. They don't see Woody. Look. They don't see Woody. Look, Taylor, he can play, he can play too, Albert. Look! <laughs> <laughs> you want three or two? Oh, three. Oh, I'm six. I eat four. He's like, I found ice cream on his head. Well, we don't hit him. Dad hits him for no reason. So he knows I like this. <laughs> 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 Did you stop? He's lying. I don't hit that boy. <laughs> Yes, he does. Hi, him. You hit him on his leg, his arm. Boy, I used to hit you the same way. You came out all right. No, I didn't. Kingston used to cry for 45 minutes straight in his crib. <laughs> because he just left me there. In his crib. said he said his crib? Yeah. I leave in your crib 45 minutes straight crying. Boy, I ain't finna pick you up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going down over here, man. Babe, you always give me cooking. That's what you do, baby girl. I want to get some food. I know, I know. We're going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel rushed right now. Ah. Y'all, so they finally fixed our AC earlier, um, and I wasn't home. I actually had to run to my friend's house because I was, like, burning up in here. Plus, I had to go run an errand with her. 
So I felt like it was just perfect timing for me to hang out with her. Um, so shout out to Jennifer for letting me come through and chilling with me. Um, but I am home. We already ate dinner. Tacos were bomb.com. Shout out to all you ladies that hold down the household, that cook it up every single night. And if it's not every single night, it's at least four days out of the week. Uh, shout out to you housewives, to your mothers. We be putting it down. We might just end the vlog right here, you guys. Once again, we came through for y'all. So make sure that if you made it this far in the video, you go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications that way y'all can see a little sneak peek of our lives on a daily or every time we post a new video. And my shout out for today is gonna be for Lisette Argueta. Thank y'all so much, everybody that congratulated us on our last video. It was our 100th vlog. Make sure you stay true. Make sure you stay true and give this video a huge thumbs up and don't be a hater all your life. Subscribe now. Double cup, got me sleep walking. Big block, put them in the coffin. Going hard, I ain't got no option. Going hard, I ain't got no option.